This is what's left behind after Eritrean forces attack a city, properties looted and houses burned to the ground. In a way of abating the fear of shelling, displacement and killing in the hearts of these people, the peace deal is yet to bear fruit. The district of Irob in eastern Tigray is home to one of the ethnic minorities in Tigray that has been the target of Eritrean aggression since the beginning of the war on Tigray. More recently, Eritrean shelling displaced many in the district, forcing the residents to leave everything behind in search of safety. For a whole month, the shelling didn't stop. This is all that's left of our belongings. They entered through the door and burned everything, including the television. My house was burnt and other houses were looted as well as shelled. You can see the sky through the roof. First, we were forced to leave our homes due to the heavy artillery shelling. After we fled, we hid under a bridge and they entered the city on foot. We didn't have anything on us. We left all our farm animals behind. We didn't even have time to lock our doors. And we just left in the dead of night. Residents were hopeful about the peace deal brokered between the two parties in Pretoria more than three weeks ago but say their living conditions are yet to show any sign of improvement. When we heard about the peace agreement, we thought our lives would go back to how it once was. We were happy, but we're still under siege. There's nothing that has changed for us. When we heard about the deal, we thought we would be able to go back home, that we wouldn't have to worry about food or clothing. We thought we would be able to reunite with our family members. Looting and destruction of civilian property by Eritrean forces was a common occurrence in the district, says local official Miskinna Alama. But says more distressing was the psychological trauma that was inflicted on the residents. Innocent civilians were killed in a mass and properties were looted and destroyed. Farmers were forced to quit their work and had their grain looted. Psychological trauma to a point where the people have started to lose hope in life has also been inflicted. The promise for the withdrawal of non-ENDF forces is yet to be implemented.